Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Rad Tarot, and this is going to be Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Moon and Aquarius Rising weekly tarot reading for October 22nd to October 28th, 2018 tarot and Lenormand reading for that matter so um, while I'm shuffling the cards I want to remind you once again guys that this is just a general reading for a Aquarius star sign and it is not your personal reading Therefore, um, I will try my best here to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread, but it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Now, if you want me to do that for you, well, that will be a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, please check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. So uh, we are going to go to the tarot card spread first and the first card here is going to be showing the topic of the week. The second card is about the core of the situation. The third card that we do have is the uh, challenges which are causing predicaments and the last card is the guidance that tarot is offering to you Aquarius. So let's see what we have. Um, one second guys. Alright, I'm sorry about that. So, uh, that was an urgency. So, uh, Ten of Wands. It does look like this is going to be a very heavy week to pass through because the Ten of Wands, it is a card pointing that there will be a lot going on. And if there are a lot going on, I mean a lot of responsibilities that you have to tackle with going on. Uh, usually created by your eagerness to either prove yourself or to either obtain control of a certain situation. So just to give you an example here, uh, career-wise, let's say, as that your boss calls you and tells you, look, do you think that you can manage this kind of a project and although it is not your obligation to say to take it under your wing and to proceed on forward with it just so you can show yourself capable here you say oh yeah sure no problem you know uh, and you take it and soon you're going to realize that, that is a little bit of a, a big piece to swallow you know not that you will not be able to manage it it will just require a lot of devotion and it will require some extra time on top of that so that being said here as we do have the ten of wands it will be very important to um be very mindful of what kind of promises you give throughout the week and as well you know what kind of undertakings you um you are okay to uh, proceed forward with as well. Uh, when we talk about uh, our personal interactions and when we talk about in a sense of uh, personal relationships, this card resembles the uh, eagerness, you know, to show how much, you know, that relationship is meaning for you, which there is nothing wrong with it, all right? And how much you count on that relationship which there is nothing wrong with that but uh, uh, your behavior could become a little bit stifling all right uh, and a little bit annoying to your partner therefore it will be uh, it will be good if you talk uh, for a little bit you know uh, to just to understand here what is to be expected from you to do because you should not overkill the situation with kindness you should not overkill the situation with activity as well because sometimes that annoys the people that we are with as well so uh, what we get from that card here Aquarius is, is that you should kind of like try to take it easy guys don't uh, don't overburden yourself with things that you should not uh, that you don't have to um, don't have to contribute into of course if you see that this is a, a tremendous opportunity for you to grow uh, feel free to take it all right but just so you can look good into the eyes of others there is no reason that should not be a reason for you to overburden yourself with additional tasks and undertakings that are only are going to slow you down and this is due to the Ten of Swords here is that we do have the next card. Oh my God. So the Ten of Swords here points that that will be some sort of redemption that you will try to do, you know, like a correctional exam, like a, 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 a tr let me try to give you again an example. Uh, the, the, uh, let's say that your theme at work didn't done very well in a certain project recently and this additional task that you may try to take is going to be uh, like uh, trying to um, 
make a uh, repentance of what you could not do back in the past, if that makes sense. Same thing goes for your uh, relationship here, you know, because you, uh, let's say, some way mistreated your partner in some way, you insulted them, etc., etc., you try to kind of like make it up for it here throughout the week and that could come in a heavy price all right uh, just just so you know while it is good for you to make it up for it you don't have to overkill the situation as i said all right so uh that being said uh, here um, uh, throughout this week october 22nd to october 28th will be very important that you are capable to give a an accurate diagnosis upon the situation and to also talk about what is to be expected from you that is very important do not presume do not be biased all right do not think that everything is going to be faced with critics of what you do maybe people doesn't expect anything from you but you know if you offer your helping hand no one will say all right i don't i don't need it you know everybody is trying to basically do things as easier as possible and if you offer a helping hand even though it goes strictly against uh, you know everything you're trying to do they are to accept it therefore uh, these couple of cards here are speaking in, in that specific position are speaking that you have to honor yourself and you have to value your efforts above everything else and at the end of the day even though uh this overburdening is a forced by a mistake you have done in the past. We are humans, guys. It is what we do. We do mistakes, all right? But out of those mistakes, sometimes the most beautiful things happen. So the next card that is going to be about the challenges which are causing predicaments and this is going to be the death card and the death card is one of the unavoidable cards. There are going to be changes and that, that as a matter of fact says that there will be a severe change happening here and the struggle is going to be against um, against the change. This is going to be the challenge here to give yourself to it completely because against death nothing can resist. I mean is basically it comes it takes away what it is to die and it goes away and the more you struggle the more pain you are to face therefore uh, if something is coming to an end for you uh, throughout this week do not fight it guys I mean you basically what the card says is that you first um, the um, the ending the, the the finalization here of the process of ending is going to be much more dramatic for you, much more despondent, and at the end of the day, you won't be able to prevent it. So that is the struggle, that is the challenge to let it go, all right? Just just let it go and try to, uh, how can I place it? Try to replace to replace it with something similar as this is what the dead promise you know one thing dies other takes place it is basically the life cycle because what is change because the dead is change you know what is change if it is not life beginning after ending and what is life if it is not death pending all right so basically it is kind of like a turnover and you should not re try to resist that turnover and just to give you very grim examples here all right because if i speak for these cards i have to give you the best case scenario at least in my mind all right so the best case scenario in one relationship is that the relationship ends all right despite your efforts here uh your partner thinks this is uh, unforgivable what you did and they decide to break up with you what will be the best course of action according to these three cards is for you to say all right you know that's your decision so if you think that uh you know that is going to make you happy then be my guest because at the end of the day uh if someone tries to leave, you cannot do anything to stop it. I mean, you can try to resist it, but at the end of the day, you cannot stop them. So what you can do is do something for yourself. Start dating, you know, start to try to find someone else to replace the one who did not value your efforts to make it up for what you did in the past, etc., etc. Same goes for, uh, for one career as well. So again, to repeat, <clears throat> the challenge is going to be for you to let it go, whatever is coming to an end in your life. <clears throat> and the last one, that will be the guidance here, Three of Swords, 
completely synergized with the rest of the cards at basically points that you should not blame yourself for anything and as a matter of fact this card points that if you are suffering you know because not everybody is uh, um, is depraved from emotions you know even though uh, people who watch that reading they may know that it's going to be better for them to just let it go but that still doesn't kill the pain within this card here points that you have to live through your pain all right so you can recuperate after it um after the process is done the more you try to slumber the pain and to fight it against the more the pain is going to linger in the future therefore you do what is necessary you know live through it um, uh, for example uh, cry through it, drink through it, sleep through it, do whatever it's necessary, you know, in order for you to overcome the uh, the impact of the ending that you are to experience here, so you can be reborn, because the Tree of Swords is also about healing, it is also about emotional healing, it is what we speak, and as soon as the process of healing is ending, you are to understand here that that was something you needed to let go, because what we do have in the card are three swords piercing the card, the, the heart, your heart in that case, and the swords are representing truth. All right, the truth. So it pierces your heart. So what is coming to an end? The very reason for it was real. All right, and basically. Uh, you are to to see that it is better that way. It is just you gotta believe it. So that was the tarot reading and now let me shuffle the Lenormand cards and they are to show us a event which is to happen to you, Aquarius, that you should either look forward to or try to avoid. One second guys. All right, so the first one is the cross, which points to uh, despondency, suffering, and ill emotions. Then we do have the ring, which is commitment, which is relationship, which is marriage as well. So we do have a severe ending, and it doesn't have to be of a marriage or a relationship. It could be as well commitment, which is kind of very broad, you know, with explanation. It could be a project. Uh, so someone who you, is working with you on a project could basically prematurely end the project because of some performances of yours in the past that could hurt you, etc., etc. So you don't have to think that your relationship is coming to an end just from these couple of cards and then we do have the stork which is the rebirth the stork is the rebirth the uh the delivery of new the new era here it is the symbol of spring and sp the spring is the new beginning in the um in the in the season cycle therefore this is a another confirmation that a commitment ends after a lot of suffering here and it is uh, also crowned with a new beginning, with the delivery of something new to replace it. So that is a, another reason that we see here for you to just let it go. Don't fight it uh, because it will be much more uh, beneficial and as well it will be much more easier for you to believe that the best is yet to come because this is what the card says, the best is yet to come. So uh, that being said, Aquarius, this was your weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for October 22nd to October 28th, 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And uh, again, this was just a general reading for Aquarius star sign. And it was not your personal reading. Therefore, I uh, tried my best here to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread. But at the end, it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Um, <clears throat> if you want me to do that for you, well, that will be a, a matter of a personal reading. And for personal readings, please check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye.